Dubbed true patriots, they followed the order to fight their country's battles. Scott Olson survived two tours in Iraq, What's your name? only to be critically injured upon returning home by police clashing with Occupy Oakland protesters. Olson had joined the military to do good work, to help other people, to be part of something bigger than ourselves, and to defend our country. But instead, he and many others discovered an ugly truth about the military escapades they were involved in. I met those with me. Raymond gave four years to the U.S. Army and spent five years in Kuwait as a contractor. His experiences changed his perception of the U.S. They're creating the violence, they're stopping the peace, and they're uprooting the people from their culture, from their communities, and killing people in drone attacks. This group of veterans says the system they were part of is one that throws away billions of dollars on endless wars, yet pinches every extra penny when it comes to those fighting them. When veterans come home, one in three of them will be homeless. Uh, we have 18 veteran suicides every single day. Every 36 hours, an active duty soldier kills himself. U.S. veterans are increasingly taking to the streets to challenge what they believe to be false pretense wars. We don't agree with this illegal occupation that's being held in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, and other foreign countries because it's not a war based off terrorism. It's a, it's a war based off of other motives for money, political power, agendas, oil. Over the weekend in Chicago, dozens of veterans marched the streets. I don't want these anymore. And dumped their war medals. Our enemies are not 7,000 miles from home. Our enemies are right here and we look at them every day. By simply throwing them out in rejection of what those medals signify. This is really an act of disobedience, what they call uh, betrayal against them. They say basically the system duped them into joining the military and the wars were not when they were told they would be. In these protests, the veterans were joined by thousands of other Americans also outraged with U.S. wars. The American people are angry, they're frustrated, and they don't know which way to turn anymore. With presidential elections around the corner, these veterans say real change can only come from the bottom up. I didn't expect any changes in 2008 when Obama got elected, and I surely don't expect any changes now. Those once taking commands to fight on foreign soil, now taking command of the battle for peace at home. Anastasia Churkina, RT, Chicago, Illinois.